Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use if statements. Now in the simulator, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. So basically, if statements are basic, is um, how it works is, if something is this, then do this, basically. So here we have four buttons, one, two, three, four. When we click any of these, you see the label changes the number to the number of the button. And what we're going to do is when we press this button here, press me, it's going to be basically if label here equals one, then display this text in label two at the button. So click one here, so it says one, press me, and it will say the, the um, got it to um, display the word one. So if this was two, we press it again. Now because that's two, it's displaying different text. So that's basically how the if statement is working. So I'll be showing you how to do this in your projects today. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it if statements for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is got our basic layup in the um, XIB all set out and um, create our actions and outlets. So if we jump into it now and start doing it, so if you add a button, I'll make it the same width that it is in height. I'll say that 54 by 54 would be good enough. Rename that to 1. Now we need 4 of these in total. Place them there, and I'm going to center them in the middle so it just looks a little bit nicer for you guys watching the video. So now we've added them in there, we need to add another button and a label. Place the label there and the button there. So I'm going to try and recreate as best as I can what I showed you in the um, simulator. Let's place that down there. Make it a little bit wider as it needs to be displayed a little bit more text. Now I'll center both of these labels. Okay, so that's the basic setup we had in the simulator. Now I'm going to bring in the editor assistant here. And I'm going to quickly um, start adding the outlets and actions. So the label, I'm going to control click or right click and drag and name it label one do exactly the same with the second label but I'll just give it a label two name and then button one here need to action take off the send as we don't need it so button one I'm going to repeat the um, repeat the process now with all the other buttons so you can either sit and watch me do it or you can just skip a little bit ahead to when I've finished it this will be button three and button four and then finally the press me so action none and then press me so now we have all our actions and outlets all linked up we can go back to our single view here and then jump into our if you go into our .h you can see it's all added in there Go to our dot m, and now we're going to start adding the code for each of the buttons to display the number in the first label. So how we do that is so button one, label one dot text equals at symbol quotation mark quotation mark semicolon and number one. We can simply copy and paste that for the other three buttons and just change the um, number in the quotation marks. So what we've got so far is when we press the four buttons at the top, it's going to display one, two, three, or four, depending on which one you pressed in our first label, which we call it label one. Now for our press me button, this is going to um, we hit it, and it's going to basically do if label one equals number one, then display this text in label two. So we do that now. So if 
we then have to get the if statement up. So if the condition here, so if this is happening or ha happened, sorry, do bracket label one dot text is equal to string at symbol quotation mark quotation mark one, and that have a bracket there with inside the um, curvy brackets. So if label one equals one, and then this statement here is what's going to happen. Label two dot text will equal. Uh, and we we'll write the word one like we did in the simulator, and that with a semicolon. So let's go over it once more. So once you press the, uh, so we hit button one, it displays the number one in label one. Then we hit press me. So if label one is equal to the string of the number one, which it will be because we pressed button one, then label two will display this text, which is the word one. It's a little bit confusing with the amount of ones, but it's pretty simple to understand. Now, if we just copy and paste this another three times and just simply change each of the um, is equal to string numbers here, and then we change the uh, label two's um, text is going to change to to the um, two, three, and four. So basically, then, so once we press this button, it's going to go through all of these if statements and find the one that is equal to. So let's just say we pressed it and we made label one display the number three. It will go through all four of these if statements, and because the only one kind of compatible that is equal to it will be number three so it will find this one select this one and then it will display the word three in label two so if you just jump into the iphone simulator now and we'll see it working in all its glory so we can press the four buttons at the top so one two three and four all displays the number in our label and then once we hit the press me, and now because it's displayed as four, it's going to go through all of these if statements and find the one that's equal to four. So we press it. I know it's found it, and it will display the word four in our label too. So we keep pressing it, and it will never change unless we change the number in our first label to two. So it is the two, three, one. So that's simply how you kind of work with if statements and get them to do stuff depending on the condition of something else. So I hope this helps in your apps or pro, um, projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and please make sure you like and favourite the video as it really does help us out get, um, gain a bigger audience and more people learn from our tutorials. Uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter and... Um, Check out all our apps on the App Store just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. And uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next time in our next. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.